Today we're gonna have a little business craft fun, the first ever. I'm gonna show you why it's super important to make big first impressions with your tiny business card. What up, Ace Man? Kitty here with the Tola Visuals. You might have known me from such episodes like gimbal reviews. But today, we are gonna get crafty. I'm gonna show you how I customize my business cards to make them all different. Some people like to save money and get those really, really cheap cards where you can get a thousand for like 50 bucks. I don't know if that's true, but I like to spend extra money on my business cards because every time I hand this to someone and I introduce myself, they're always commenting on how nice the card is. Just that little gesture, just that little bit of detail really showcases how you take your work really seriously. I went with the new business cards because they have really good card stock. You could design your cards online. I love their packaging. This is so not sponsored, but it sounds like it. Look, it's a magnet. I went with this thick card stock, the White Lux 32 point card stock because I wanted to spray the edges of it gold. Since Atola is ocean themed, I have a blue, white, and gold theme for my cards. It's also helpful if you get white business cards because when you meet someone, they'll probably forget who you are, where they met you. I know a lot of us are like that, so if you write a little note like, hey, we talked about this or we met at this event, that's also an added bonus to the white card stock. So we got some gold spray paint here. I got some cobalt blue watercolor paint. We're gonna be painting each one individually. A lot of work, but totally worth it. Other things you'll need are rubber bands. And then I use two extra cards for the front and the back so I don't spray paint those. Brushes, beer pong cup, water, newspaper, and the outside because you don't wanna be spray painting inside. All right, let's go outside and get started and I'll show you how to spray paint these suckers. First up, cover those two cards. Get your little rubber bands. And I like to place them on the edges. I just like to do a really thin layer so it doesn't bleed through too much. Don't forget we're doing two rounds. And we wait like five minutes. drops of the paint it goes a long way put some water in your party cup take the paintbrush and dilute the paint a little bit the more you dilute it the lighter it is helps have a paper towel so you can dab the excess water and paint. If some of you have seen American Psycho, it just reminds me of that scene where he was getting OCD about how everyone's business cards were better than him. I feel like that sometimes. So I wanted to make the best business cards I can. And they're all different and all unique, like Pokemon cards. Hope you had fun with Kitty Crafts. I don't know what to call this series, but thanks for hanging out with me. Find my G because I post on the daily. Don't forget to like and comment down below. I'll see you down there. You do, fam, and I'll see you when I see you. Mm, done. <laughs> Logo. Is that goofy? I don't know. Look at that thickness. <laughs> Smells like paint. Mmm.